Hot Pursuit might bear the Need for Speed name, but this is a burnout game through and through. If you're familiar with Criterion Games' Burnout series, you'll immediately feel at home here. You can slide around corners with just a quick tap of the brake. You can take shortcuts and alternate routes on many of the courses. And yes, you can earn nitrous by driving dangerously close to other vehicles and into oncoming traffic. Unless you're a cop, in which case you end it simply by driving really, really fast. One of the best things about Hot Pursuit is that you don't just get to play as illegal street racers, but also as the Seacrest County cops who are trying to stop them. You get to use the same awesome licensed cars regardless of which side you take, but events play out quite differently and you often have a different arsenal of countermeasures at your disposal. The Hudson Tech Sweeper jams multiple frequencies in succession. As a cop in an online or career mode Hot Pursuit event, for example, your goal is to take racers down before they reach their illegal finish line. You can do this by ramming into them in much the same way that you might in a burnout game. But these cars are pretty resilient and it generally takes several hard shunts to put them out of commission. That's where spike strips, EMPs, roadblocks and even helicopters come into play. As a cop, you're allocated a limited number of these items for each event and you use them just by tapping the D-pad. It's a lot of fun to put this equipment to good use, and if you're playing as a racer, it's just as much fun to try and avoid them while using a few tricks of your own. That's right, racers get cool equipment too. You can take down cops with the same spike strips and EMPs that they have, and you can also use a jammer to render their EMPs, radars, and other equipment useless for a short time. You even get a powerful turbo in addition to your regular nitrous. It takes a couple of seconds to fire up, but the eye-blisteringly quick boost that you get is enough to outrun even the fastest cops. And make no mistake, the cops in Hot Pursuit are fast. They have to be. They have access to all of the same licensed supercars that racers do. And if you think Aston Martins, Lamborghinis and Bentleys look great normally, just wait till you see them with police liveries and flashing lights. Not all of the modes involve cops and gadgets, by the way. If you prefer, you can compete in straightforward races between up to eight cars, and there are plenty of time trial events in career mode as well. Online, where your opponents are even more unpredictable than the impressive AI, you can compete in the aforementioned hot pursuit and race events as well as an interceptor events that pit just one racer against one cop. Even when you're playing in career mode, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit does a great job of pitting you against your friends. It's disappointing that there's no way to see how your best times compare with those of players the world over, but you're constantly compared to and urged to compete with everyone on your friends. Easily connect, compare and compete with all your friends playing Need for Speed. The game's autolog system not only shows you how you compare to your friends when you're deciding on which career mode events to play, or replay if you're still trying for a gold medal time, but also recommends events for you if it sees that friends have overtaken you or are beating you by only fractions of a second. It's a neat system, and being able to post taunts on friends' walls after you beat them is a nice touch. It's still kind of baffling that it would completely replace traditional leaderboards rather than complement them though. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit looks and sounds great. Both the licensed cars and the environments that they race through are nicely detailed. And the frame rate is silky smooth even when your driving is anything but. It's unfortunate that the slow motion shots of crashes and takedowns sometimes cause you to crash yourself. But on the flip side, they sometimes cause you to miraculously avoid hazards. So it all evens out. As in real life, some cars sound much more impressive than others, but none of them sound bad. And you might want to change the default audio settings so that you can hear them more clearly over the loud and lively soundtrack. Don't turn down the police radio chatter though, because you can get plenty of useful information from it. It 
It doesn't matter if your interest in hot pursuit stems from a love of need for speed, a love of burnout, or neither. If you're looking for a fast-paced racing game that's fun to play both on your own and with friends, you won't be disappointed. Suspect is left road, repeat. Suspect is off road, we'll cut the Confirmed, interceptor officer is on route. 